we unbox the uh, the Toolbox uh, Pro and the Toolbox adapter. We've downloaded the software from the Elder Lab website. We've installed it. When you open up the the program, this is the first screen you get. So now to check if the system is working okay, you're first going to connect the Toolbox Pro to your PC. So what you see is actually you get a green dot here which says Toolbox connected. So now I use this LED code connector with a brown wire on the brown terminal of the driver and I connect the driver. And now it's connected. And then it takes a couple of seconds and then the driver is recognized. So now the first thing we can do is actually read from the driver. So for this, we have the button read, and this is actually going to read the settings in the driver. So what you can see is actually the driver's programmed to uh, 250 milliamperes, has an NTC uh, throttling temperature of 70 uh, degrees Celsius and a minimum dimming level of 0.1. So now if I want to make a small change, I press edit. This gives me the option actually to change the current settings. In this case, I'm going to change the current to 500 milliampere for both channel. And I press right. In this case, now these settings are into the driver. I have also an option because I want to use, um, you know, use the setting for multiple drivers. I can actually save this as a profile. I need to give it a name. In this case, I call it new driver. And I press save. So now I can reuse this setting for future drivers as well. So Patrick, we created this profile and now I have a fresh new driver, which I want to program with the exact same settings as the last one. How would I do that? I connect this driver again with the brown wire on the brown terminal of the LED code interface. And how would I start then with influx tool? So now you actually see that the, uh, the driver uh, is, is been, been read. So you see the driver is connected. I select the profile and I press right again. In this case, this profile is written into the driver. And what is the auto write doing? Auto write means that actually, if you unplug the, the driver and you connect a new driver, then it will automatically write that same profile into the driver. So you Can don't you turn that on for me? Yes, of course. So now it starts programming. It shows me success, so I disconnect it. I grab myself a fresh driver, I connect it again, and now it automatically starts programming. Yeah. So I don't have to touch my computer to do volume production in programming. Correct.